Affiliate marketing continues to change with the landscape of internet marketing. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to build a landing page for your affiliate marketing business. So the first key to really building the uh, landing page for affiliate marketing is knowing what you want to do with affiliate marketing, like kind of what your goals are. Um, there are two main factors in deciding uh, what kind of landing page you want to build because there's a few different options. So the first factor is knowing whether or not you want to run ads. So platforms like Facebook and Google are cutting down on affiliate marketing and they're making it more difficult to run ads to things that end up going to affiliate marketing. For example, you are not allowed to just post your affiliate link in an ad on Facebook, which is why you have to have a landing page. But they also have rules on what that landing page can be and how it's set up for you to be allowed to run ads to that landing page. So you need to know if you're planning on running ads or not. You also need to know really what your plan is long term for affiliate marketing. Like, are you wanting to grow this into a full time income and actually make a business out of it? If you are, I really suggest building an email list. So building an email list lets you use email marketing to advertise to people later or I guess just market to them at a much lower cost than having to pay Facebook, Google, whatever ad network um, to run ads. So by building an email list, you're setting yourself up to grow your business into the future, but that requires a different setup of landing page than if you're not building an email list. The good news is the squeeze pages, which is the type of landing page that collects email addresses, the squeeze pages you use to build your email list also work for running ads with Google and Facebook. So if you are wanting to do either of those, there's one page. If you're not wanting to do either of those, there's another page. So this first type of landing page is for if you are not running ads and you do not want to build an email list. That's what this first one's for. This page is extremely simple. It's very easy to set up. It's pretty much just a curiosity-based headline and a button. The button, when they click it, redirects them over to your affiliate link. That's it. So the main advantage of this page is that you will have an extremely high click-through rate, which means when people land on this page, a lot of people will end up going to the affiliate page, a ton of them. That's the main advantage. The drawback of this is that you kind of have issues with quality. So it's kind of a lot of people will click through or good people will click through that are going to buy. So you kind of have to balance that. So if you use this type of page and you're wanting to get that high click through rate, you're gonna have a lower conversion on your affiliate page. It's just the way it goes. So you, you try and balance it the best you can, but this type of page is very much just set up to get a ton of people to your affiliate page once you get people onto the landing page, which is great, but you are gonna see less conversions once you get to the affiliate page. Does that make sense? Again, this is the type of page that you cannot run ads to and uh, you are not building an email list with this. Okay, so let's go to the second type of page. This is really just a general squeeze page um, where people are coming to the page, they input their email address and then they get to the other side. So this is where you're allowed to run ads and you're building your email list, okay? Um, this is the type of page I like to use a lot. And you really have two options with this. You can either make a lead magnet and that's what people are opting in for, so like a free report or something like that. And then on the thank you page, you tell them you're emailing them the lead magnet and then you allow them to learn a little bit about your affiliate product and they can click over from there. And then you follow up with email marketing saying, hey, this is the affiliate product. And then you can market to them continuously because you now have their email address and you can send them different offers as you find them. 
The other option with this type of page is to talk all about your affiliate product and then just say, hey, if you actually buy through my link, I'm gonna give you some bonuses. So what the bonuses do is it gives you a reason that is logical to the person on the page to collect their email address. Because like, if you just were like, hey, there's this affiliate product, they really wouldn't see a reason to give you their email address to get over to the other page. But if you say, hey, here's this great product, but also when you buy from me, I'm gonna give you this, 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 and this. Not only are you making it more likely that they're gonna buy because you're improving the value of the offer, but then you go like, oh, but wait, I need your email address so I can send you the bonuses once you buy. And then when they buy, you're able to send the email over to them with all the bonuses. But even if they don't buy, you now have their email address. So you can try remarketing to them to get them to that product. Or you can continue to provide value and then tell them about other products you may be associated with. Now, one thing that puts people off about this is having to build um, like the lead magnet, for example. But one thing you can do if you don't really want to take the time to build it, you can actually find products that are private label rights within your topic, which is a product where someone's already built it and they just say for X amount of money, you can use this however you want and you can offer it as a free lead magnet to people. And it's usually very inexpensive. And then you can just take that as your lead magnet and then as you get further into this business, you can probably make your own uh, lead magnet if you want to. You could also do something similar with bonuses for the affiliate product. Let's say you have a diet affiliate product. You could also have a couple different workout plans that you're like, hey, as a bonus, uh, when you buy this product from me, I'm gonna give you this workout book that has 30 different workouts you can do at home with no equipment in under 30 minutes. Someone's actually looking for a weight loss product. You're like, oh, that's awesome because I don't want to go to the gym to do X, Y, or Z. Now there is a bit of a drawback with this and it's obviously that it's going to take a little bit more work to get this kind of page set up. Uh, there's more moving parts involved. But for me, the drawbacks are outweighed by all the positives in that you're gonna get better quality people to your affiliate link, you're building an email list that you can market to longer term, all of those things. So this is actually my favorite type of page to do for affiliate marketing. Now, there is the drawback that because you are having a higher barrier to entry with getting people email addresses and giving them more information up front, you're going to have a lower click-through rate to your affiliate page. However, the people that do make it to the page are going to be much more likely to buy that product. So again, like I said before, it's kind of a balancing act of what you want to do. Um, if you wanted to, you could like there's nothing stopping you from making one of each type of landing page and then just doing that and having the best of both worlds from different traffic sources as you go forward. On top of that, you now have an email list that you can market to. So you can send them multiple products and actually build a legitimate business that will grow into the long term because you've collected those emails. On top of that, once you start getting traction, because this is a page you can run ads to, once you get your system figured out and you're getting traction, you're getting sales coming in, like things are working, you can dump money into ads, speed the whole process up, and just explode your growth. But there you have it. Those are your two main landing page types to use for affiliate marketing. If you want to learn more about building high converting landing pages, Go ahead, drop down into the description. You can grab a free copy of my report, Five Keys to More Leads. It'll help you build better landing pages so you can collect those email addresses and get those affiliate sales. If you found this video helpful, do me a huge favor. While you're down there, go ahead and like the video. And if you want to learn more stuff like this and get more informative videos in the future, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.